Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I uh, hope that you are feeling Percy. And for the first time ever, we are going to be going to the Salvatore Ferragamo Retail Boutique to check out what the handbag brand is all about. But before we hop into today's high-end luxury shop with me at Salvatore Ferragamo, if you guys love handbags, hauls, unboxings, shop with me's, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button, as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that pesky... YouTube L Go Rhythm Play Monkey! Play Play Monkey! I'm really excited to get into Salvatore Ferragamo for the very first time. I've seen pieces that they've had before and I kind of just look over the store as I walk by. I've never actually entered. So for the first time, let's enter together. And the first bag is this beautiful, like, taupe beige kind of colored bag. Has some beautiful, beautiful, chunky hardware on the front. Very thick. Looks very nicely made as well. $3,040 Canadian. Oof, that is a steep price. But the bag was beautiful. And I really loved how soft the leather was. The hardware was very sturdy and the leather was soft as you would come to expect for a $3,000 bag. But for my favorite bag in today's video, it goes to this beautiful red, this beautiful, beautiful red saddle bag. I am in love with the red hue to this. Like this is such a beautiful apple red color and I'm in love with that chain. Girl, I want that chain like off that bag and I want the chain for like myself. Like I just want the chain, even though it's not removable. <laughs> $3,650. This bag was beautiful. I loved how soft the leather was. It was definitely a very high-end bag, in my opinion. And the chain on it was just a complete chef's kiss. Just so stunning to look at. Perfect construction. Almost literally zero zero flaws and the next up is this this shoulder bag i love me some like really nice spazzolato like this one looks like like a matte spazzolato almost and i really really like it now the only thing i don't like about this bag really is that hardware the hardware is really nice very sturdy feels like it would last a really really long time i could not close the bag i, I as you could tell I don't know if I was doing it wrong, but I felt like the clips on those specific bags or like any kind of bag with that specific clip, it was just so impossible to close. Like I was getting frustrated. $2,680 for that beautiful little shoulder bag. But here we got some lambskin. At least I believe it's lambskin. I would like to know lambskin when I see it, but you never know. Very beautifully soft bag. Very nice. I don't like the bag style that much, though. It doesn't look like... It kind of reminds me of an outlet bag I've seen before from another brand. But, like, they could be just, like, ripping off Salvatore Ferragamo. And to be in all honest, you know what I mean? But other than the really hideous, like, the hideous design of the bag, $15.75 on sale, the bag was beautiful. These bags were just like so well crafted, supple, supple leather. And it looked, as much as I don't like the bag, it still looked really good. Like it still looked bomb with my outfit. Like very nice piece. Would I ever buy one for myself? No. A gift? Perhaps. I mean, obviously it's stunning. <laughs> but again, I don't like the construction too much or the design, sorry. The construction's perfect, but the design is not my, my thing. 
Now, here we have some nice little satchel top handles. I liked these for a couple different reasons. I like satchel top handles. They're very, like, classy, very easygoing. I did kind of think the hardware on this one was a little interesting as well. So it was kind of like a hook buckle almost. So you'd, like, unhook the buckle, and then the big C thing would, like, come up. As you've seen, $3,110. Very expensive. Very thick leather, or... Not too thick leather, sorry, but like thick enough leather and soft enough leather where you're like, I can understand this being high-end luxury. It was a beautiful bag. And speaking of absolutely beautiful, I might take back the red saddlebag being my favorite because this piece here screams lady of the night, but in a handbag. I love it. Okay, no, actually, I'm taking that back because now that I'm, like, rethinking about it, I wanted to, like, wring my own neck trying to open and close this bag. I had, like, a good two minute, two minutes of footage of me just trying to open and close the bag. I did not like the hardware for it. As sturdy and as beautiful as this bag is and the hardware was and all of that, it did not open and close with ease, even in the slightest. I had a really hard time with it. And same with these pieces here. I don't know I, I don't know what would possess a handbag brand to actually make like a lock mechanism so damn difficult to open. But I was like, I'm not playing with this. <laughs> it was just like I don't it you know when like a bag lock is so complicated to open, you're just like, I'm not even touching it. Like I'm done. Like no ma'am. Like you lost me. You lost the plot. Beautiful handbag, beautiful construction, but, like, I didn't understand the look. Looking at it here, I still don't understand it. And it wasn't, like, a button clasp or anything. Like, girl, I did not. I don't get it. I don't get it. Someone would have to explain that to me, but... Nonetheless, they are beautiful pieces. They kind of remind me of a Birkin, almost. Almost. Different design and like specificities but like it has like that vague shape to it and then here we got like a fun little cross grain print not my type of style but it was a nice piece but it was a nice piece <gasps> Jesus. I do enjoy the leather and like just like how intricately the bags are made for Salvatore I do like how on the insides each piece has like its own like made in Italy and bussing and some of them are different than others. It's, it's a nice bag brand. I do like it, especially for my first time. And then looking at the beautiful array of belts they have, this beautiful silver pavade like masterpiece, an absolute masterpiece, probably very expensive, but it is beautiful. I will say, as beautiful as these pieces are, because, like, girl, that pavé, that pavé looks perfect. Some pavé pieces look really cheap and disgusting, but, like, girl, these look mint. Faux pearls on this one, oh my gosh. I would just hope those wouldn't fall off. They don't look like they're necessarily placed in. They look like they're kind of glued on top. So you would have to be careful, but nonetheless, all of the belts were very beautiful. Very nicely made. I just wish they had thicker leather. I wish they had thicker leather. Stunning pieces, though. And then here we have some of the classic, iconic pieces to Salvatore Ferragamo. I don't know any of these, like, handbag names at all. I do apologize. But this is, like, the bow tie bag collection. I do know that much. I do love the leather on this bag, though. It was a really gorgeous piece. It kind of reminded me of, like, a vintage bag, almost. Like, a 2000s vintage bag. But, like, updated, in a sense. It was a really nice piece. Like, looking at it now, I do remember playing with it, like, fully in person. It wasn't that long ago. But beautiful, beautifully soft and supple leather. Very smooth and... The ribbon wasn't, like, cheap feeling or anything, though I do believe it's, like, sewn into the leather and such. Just slide it open, and as you can see, beautiful, beautiful soft leather on the inside. Made in Italy, even has a cute little bow on the inside. Very, 
I love that. That is such a nice touch. 2,190. That's actually not that bad. I want... <laughs> for, for what we've just seen, like, that's not that bad. A basic bag, but, like, you know, a stunning classic piece. Basic, but stunning and classic. We love to see it. And then here we have, like, the long, like, top handle satchel tote bag version of it. Very pretty as well. Definitely not as nice. Like, I did think the leather was a or Maybe it is as nice. I just, I remember touching that one in specific. Maybe because it is bigger. And when you do have a bigger bag, you do tend to notice thinner leather. Maybe that's why they got away with the lower price in the smaller version. But very, very beautiful. Craftsmanship A++ and just all around goodness. It looks so cute with my outfit too. Everything I tried on just even though like none of the colors match they still match. If that even I don't know how that works but it does and I live. And now we're gonna be looking at this cute little like wallet. It's kind of like a uh it's got, like, I believe it's a key holder, actually. It does have, like, the little key ring on the inside. But I do really love how, like, cute the cross grain leather on this is. It didn't feel cheap, like, at all, which is really nice. Because sometimes with these, like, smaller leather goods, companies like to, like, really cheapen out on the leather. But this didn't feel cheap. It's actually really cute. Very well made. And $400? Okay. Okay. I know it's on sale, but <laughs> for super high-end or whatever, like, that's not horrible. It's a pretty good brand. And then with this pink long wallet, very cute. Beautiful embossing on the insides, and it also has the price $645, now $451. Still expensive, of course, but it's not like that that expensive for like a high-end piece you know it's actually a decent decent price and then lastly we're gonna be looking at this cute little like yellow tote bag very cute very small but it's cute very well made as well 707 dollars on sale so you could either go for like a wallet or a mini bag i would definitely go for the mini bag definitely it's not bad. It's actually very well made. Nice hardware. Nice leather. I do believe the inside was suede. Not exactly sure, but it's stunning nonetheless. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, hundred, hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand, or nine nine hundred ninety-nine. There can be a hundred people in the room in the room in the room and ninety-nine, ninety-nine, ninety-nine don't don't believe in you. There can be a hundred people. Alrighty, you guys. So for the first time in Salvador Ferragamo, how did you feel? How did you feel? Because I was, I was, I was pleasantly surprised. I wasn't, I didn't know what I was necessarily expecting. Like I knew they were high end luxury and all that, but like in all honesty, I, I, I like the brand. Like it's not a bad brand, even in the slightest. I think my favorite pieces were probably. The Spazzolatos, the Spazzolato pieces, and the red saddlebag with the massive, chunky red leather chain. Like, girl, oh, beautiful. I wouldn't mind having that in my collection. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit that like button. Share with your friends and family. Comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day. Or first time Salvatore Ferragamo shop with me. 
As well, you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can always check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs> I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's over. <laughs>